So a 25 minute train journey outside of Hong Kong brought me to the Sha Tin Valley. Um, the reason I came here is because I'd heard about this monastery that's out here. And uh, when you get off the train, there's no signpost or anything like that. It just says in the guidebook, it's behind Ikea. So you walk through like a little industrial estate and um, it brings you here to the 10,000 Buddha Monastery, but it's up 431 steps. Even though it's called a monastery, no monks actually live here. It'll take you about five minutes to get from the bottom to the first terrace, but take your time. In this stretch alone, there are over 500 gilded statues, and as you can see, some of them can be quite funny. Now, as beautiful as all these Buddhas are, some of them have got really, really cheeky faces, like this fella, for instance. <laughs> Now, as comical as these statues are to non-Buddhists, each one of these Buddhas represents an important human or spiritual trait. Love, luck, fertility, winning lottery numbers, long legs, a really long arm. You name it, they've got a Buddha for it. Construction of the monastery began in 1949 and it was designed and built by the Reverend Yut Kai. Even into his late 70s, he helped bring bricks and mortar from bottom to top. Centred with its towering red pagoda, the first and main terrace is the heart of the monastery. But it's not until you actually get inside the main temple itself when the name, the 10,000 Buddhas, really come into play. In fact, in this room alone, there are 13,000 mini Buddhas. After I almost wet my pants on whatever the hell that thing is, I found the view on the top terrace, which wasn't changed even after a terrible landslide in 1997. The 10,000 Buddha Monastery is open from 9.30 till 5 every single day, and like all temples in Hong Kong, entrance is completely free. Why not make it part of your journey to Hong Kong?